What is the most terrifying animal on the planet? Some people would say it's a lion with their massive claws, while others would likely say it's a crocodile with their massive teeth. But both these people are wrong because the scariest animal is definitely a bear. Because bears not only have insanely strong teeth and claws, but they can also run over 30 miles per hour. In fact, bears are so terrifying that we have added bears into Minecraft. And now I'm going to be turning into a bear for the next 100 days and see if I can survive against three hunters. Will I be able to claw my way to day 100 or will the hunters stop me from ever getting there? Let's find out. Oh, look at me. I'm a tiny little bear, but I only have eight hearts of HP, meaning I can die super easy. And over there are three bear hunters. Luckily, I have my bear menu where I can upgrade into bigger and better bears with more hearts and more crazy bear power. But for now, we're tiny. So we're gonna go run this way, quickly escape. Oh, what? The woods is covered in bear traps. Oh God, we gotta go. Yeah, go in the woods little bear come here we gotta escape these guys somehow because we have to start working on a bear cave or find somewhere to hide oh more bear traps oh i gotta be really careful okay let's go to the village let's go to the village i have an idea get back here bear oh god they're following me we gotta get away from these bear hunters get that bear yeah, yeah. is there an iron golem hold on if i can find an iron golem we'll be okay oh, i see one i see one i see one let's get him to punch it he's terrorizing the villagers we gotta get him and go just walk in circles Wait, around it go it. yes there we go yes Ow! Oh my God. It's working. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get back here, bear. Let's go near the column. Go near the column. Ready? Ah. There we go. One's dead. Oh, they punched oh him. Yes. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, gotta go. Okay, he's getting him. He's getting him. Fella, no. stop punching the goal. Now you're the hunted. Get him off me, partner. I'm gonna die. Oh, goodness. oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes. Okay, we're low. We're low. We're low. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Oh, there's one on us. Go this way. Yeah, you think you can hide in the grass, boy? Come on. Okay, get near the golem. Get near the golem. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for your tricks, bud. Come here. Do it. Uh, uh. He's gonna do it. We gotta get him. Come on. Jump through. Oh, yes, we got him. Go, go, go. This is our chance to escape while he's dealing with that. Go. We're gone. Yes, we are out of here. He died. Ooh. Let's go. Okay, now we're on top of the hill. Let's just get out of here and find a place to build a base far away. Okay, let's build our cave right here in between all these trees because bears belong in forests and in caves. Okay, so let's quickly cut down a tree and get ourselves some wood. Now let's make ourselves a crafting table and then we're gonna make a wooden pickaxe. Now let's grab three cobblestone and now make ourselves a stone pickaxe. And now let's dig out our bear cave. Okay, this tiny cave will do for now. So now I'll just keep working on getting some more basic tools and finishing up this base. From days two to seven, I worked on my first bear cave. And with the cave complete, we can officially start working on some bear upgrades. Okay, I've gone ahead and finished up the first survival base. But now that the base is done, we can finally start working on bear upgrades. And the first one I want to work on is the first upgrade called Munch. Now, obviously, I'm a bear, so I got to use my mouth. So to actually unlock my Munch ability, I need to eat 30 meat, kill two of the hunters, and get 30 kills with my bare hands get it anyway let's start with the easiest part which is definitely getting kills with my bare hands so let's go over here to some of these sheep and now let's punch these sheep to death and there we go we've gotten 15 kills with our bare hands now that we have those kills done we just need to eat 30 meat and luckily we have a bunch right here do you think rotten flesh counts as meat let's find out it does it does count as meat let's get eating Okay, we ate okay, we ate all the meat that we had, which gives us which gives us 22 out of 30 meat eaten. Which means tomorrow we'll get a little bit more meat. But for tonight, we hibernate in our bed. Okay, day nine. Let's go get some more meat. Oh, and there's some cows and pigs. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. Okay, we have all the meat that we're gonna need. Okay, now just to yeet myself off a cliff a few more times. And there we go. 30 out of 30 meat eaten. Now we just gotta go get some player kills. So let's grab our sword and let's head to spawn to see if the hunters are still there. Okay, there's their tent and there's the village. I haven't seen anybody. I think spawn is literally open. It looks like spawn's completely clear. Meaning the hunters aren't here anymore, but they left a book behind. If you are a bear and you can somehow read this, get a job bear. I'm gonna get a job hunting them down. Literally, let's go find them because we need to kill them twice if we want to get our munch upgrade. It took until day 12, but I eventually found out where the hunter's base was. Okay, I just saw a nameplate somewhere in these woods. I'm 100% sure. There's the nameplates. I can literally see their names through the trees. Okay, let's get closer. There's one on the ground. If we can get the one on the ground, we'll be okay. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. He sees me. He sees me. I'm just eating some berries. Oh my God, there's a bear. He tried to get me in the bear trap. Did not work. Tried to get me to fall for the berries. Did not work. Help, help. That's one kill. Where's my shield? Why is my shield off? There's, there it is. There it is. I forgot I took it off earlier. We're good. Going to these trees. He got me again. Nice, we got two kills. We got the two kills we need. We gotta go whoop, through here, underneath here. Okay, let's run, run, run. We gotta unlock Munch. I got it. Let's go in here. 
We got munch. Okay. Now we gotta use munch. He got an upgrade. Just kill. Oh! Oh! What did he just do to me? Now he's bleeding. Now with munch, it's like hitting them with a diamond sword that also causes them to bleed to death. So watch this. Oh. He's now bleeding. Run. We can keep losing him the deeper in the woods we go. We need to eat. Okay, there's one on us. I see one on us. Let's hide behind this tree. I see him getting close. Oh, they're all here. They're all here. They don't see me. They're right there. Oh, where'd it go? Wait, where'd the bear go? Okay, let's get him from a sneak attack. Ready? He's gone. Oh, he's, he's right here. He's, he's, he's got me. Nice, we got one. I don't see the others. Where'd the others go? Oh, there's one in the water in front of me. He's in the water. I'm coming back for him, fellas. Take that. Oh, oh he's done. He's dead. Run, run, run. There's one behind me. One behind me. Ready? If we kill him, we're gone. We got him. Go, 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 go. We're out of here. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Go. Oh, my goodness. Bunch is a super broken ability. I'm super glad we unlocked this. But now that we have it unlocked, we got to pick another upgrade to work on, which has got to be Forager. Because for the cheap cost of 32 C, 32 pumpkins, and 64 melons, I can get the upgrade. Now, this upgrade's worth getting because basically for every piece of grass I break, it'll give me a random ore. So see this grass right here? If I broke this piece of grass right here... It could drop a diamond. That's so broken. So let's unlock it by first going and getting a bunch of seeds. And this looks like the perfect area. There we go, we got 32 seeds. So now let's go find ourselves some pumpkins since we're in the perfect biome for it anyway. Pumpkins spawn in plains biome. See what I mean? Look, pumpkins. Let me know if you knew that in the comment section down below. And even better, if you did know it, give me some cool tip or trick because I'm pretty dumb at Minecraft. Okay, we went ahead and got all the pumpkins we need, which means all we need left is 64 melons. But melons can only be found in a few places. So for now, let's get going back to the base, do a little mining, and we'll get the melons tomorrow. Okay, it's day 14, and it's time to go get some melons. So let's go head to a jungle or a savanna village, whichever we find first, because that's going to be the easiest way to get melons. Okay, we found a jungle. Now we just got to look around this jungle and hopefully find some melons. Okay, they definitely spawn in here, but they're not like, oh my God, they're right in front of me. And just like that, we have 32 melons, but these don't count because they're only melon slices. So let's go down here real quick and grab this log. And let's turn it into a crafting table. I already have one. Okay, so let's just put that down. And let's combine the melons in there. And you're going to see we can make three melon blocks right now. So to get 64 melons, we need nine stacks of melon slices. This is going to take a while. Okay, cue the melon montage. Okay, we've got all the melons that we need. So now just head home, go to sleep, and do the upgrade tomorrow. Okay, so let's go and turn all the melons into melon blocks. And there we go. We have 64 melons, which means now we can unlock Forager, which means plants now give us ores. We got to go try this out. So there's a piece of grass right here. Nothing. Redstone. Look, it worked. Okay, let's see what else we can get. There's some gold. There's an emerald. There's some lapis. Come on, give me a diamond. Yes, we got a diamond. Well, who even needs to mine? We can just break grass when we need ore. Anyway, now that we have that ability, let's unlock our next bear upgrade, Angry Adolescent. Now to get this, I need 64 sweet berries, 12 cooked fish, and 24 flowers. And if we look in here, I already have a bunch of flowers. Okay, we got seven flowers, meaning we only need a few more. So let's go out into the field and just quickly go collect some more. Okay, we've got all the flowers. So now we just need some sweet berries and some cooked fish. And since the biome to get sweet berries is pretty far, let's get the fish first. Okay, we've got 12 raw fish. So now let's simply go back to the base and get those cooked up. And then we just need some sweet berry. Okay, let's throw our salmon in here. Okay, we've got the 12 cooked fish now. So now it's time to go find some sweet berries. Though the sun is about to set. So never mind. We'll go get the sweet berries tomorrow. Okay, we found a bushel of sweet berries. Let's grab some. And that gave me 34. So we just need to find a few more. And just like that, we have the stack of sweet berries, which means we can finally stop being a bear cub with 8 HP and become the angry adolescent. You can see I'm a much bigger bear with a total of 16 hearts of HP, but that's not all. I also get strength one and speed one. So I'm faster than before and stronger than before. Okay, we're back at the base. So now we just have to go inside and then we can figure out exactly what we're doing from here. Ooh. Oh my God, the hunters, there was a massive hole in my base. I think my base is destroyed. Oh, there was a massive hole in my base. Go, 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 go. They see me? Oh, they saw me. I see him. I'm coming out. I'm oh, going after him. I see his name. I see his name. Get the bird. Go this way. I got a shield on me. We're good. Okay, we're gonna have to fight them. We're gonna have to use munch. Oh, God, they're all on me. Okay, I have bleed. I can give them bleed. This is gonna be really hard. There's three of them and one of me. Let's go in the water. I have an idea. I just have to hit him once and he bleeds. Okay, they're trying to get me. Okay, he's bleeding. Oh, yeah. It's a bite attack for sure. Nice, he bled to death. Oh, we can get him here with the bleed. They're both bleeding. I'm bleeding. Come on. He's gonna bleed. Yes! I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. No. I'm dead. I'm dead behind cover. Dude, what is this? They're all dead. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness my bear can cause bleed. Because we would have just died there otherwise. Now, I saw a massive hole in my base, so I don't know if my base is gonna be there. I hope it is. Oh, no. Oh, there's bear traps everywhere, too. Can I? Oh, I can right-click him to turn him off. 
Nice. Oh, they got my bed. Well, this base is toast. Meaning, I guess we gotta move to another one. I guess that's what happens when you build a base that isn't hidden at all. Anyway, let's go build a new base, and then we'll start working on our tier two upgrades. After losing the first base, I went ahead and made a new one deep underground. This way, I can prevent this base from ever being found and blown up by the hunters. Okay, we're finally done with the brand new base, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, besides the fact that it's burning my fences. That might be too close to the lava, but whatever, not a big deal. With the base complete, we can finally start working on upgrades again now that we have a place to organize our stuff. So let's start by working on the first tier two upgrade, Loaded Beehive. This ability lets me drink honey and summon angry bees that will literally attack the hunters. And you know I gotta get that. So to unlock it, I need to eat five bottles of honey, explode 10 bees, whatever that means, and then kill three players while they're poisoned. So I think I need poison potions. Well, this upgrade's really hard. Ah, it's burning again. So let's start with the easiest part of this, which is simply drinking five honey bottles. So let's quickly go to the surface and grab some sand. Okay, let's grab some sand. Now let's go smelt it. Okay, let's throw our sand in here. Okay, now let's make some bottles. And now we just gotta fill these with honey and eat them. So let's go back outside and see what we can find. Okay, we found a beehive. It's a level five beehive. We can actually pull from this immediately, look. Oh, oh, they're angry. I made them angry, but we got a honey bottle. We just gotta find a few more level fives and we'll be all set. Ooh, I found one. Oh, I can also pull from this one. Please don't murder me, please don't murder me, please don't murder me. Okay, bees, I'm sorry, look. I need honey. I'm a bear, this is what we do. Oh, I see a bee. There's a beehive around here. Where's the beehive? I see a bee. Where's your hive, little guy? Lead me to it. Oh wait, there's another bee over there. Hold on, is it down here? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> That's three, honey, but the bees definitely don't like us. So let's keep going. Okay, so it's nighttime now, and we only have three bottles of honey. So let's see what we have. And now we just need to do that two more times. But since it's night, let's try and kill some bees with a creeper. Now, I know there's a bee's nest just over here that we just stole from. So let's quickly head back this way to the bee's nest. There's the bee there. So let's see, he has pollen. So maybe we can anger. If we break the nest, we should anger him. So we just need to get a creeper over here and then anger the bees. So let's go find a creeper. Okay, Mr. Creeper, this way, we're almost there to the beehive. Okay, let's break the beehive. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Nice, we got one, but there's still two more. Okay, come with me, bees. I need to lead these guys to another creeper. There we go, and that's two bees. Okay, here's a beehive with a bee right there. If I break this, they should all get mad. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, barely killed any of them. Oh, they're weak. Nice, that gave us another bee. That's eight bees. I'm realizing I don't think I have to kill the bees. I just have to damage the bees with the explosion. I don't see any more bees though. So let's go find another hive real quick. Okay, I got some angry bees. Come here, angry bees. Come on, come on, creeper, do it. Yes, that's nine, we just need one more. Okay, let's see if we can get another creeper near this nest and then we'll destroy it. And there we go, we got all 10 bees blown up. Now we just need to go finish getting some honeycomb bottles, which we'll do tomorrow, because it's literally about to be tomorrow. See, the sun's rising by me. Oh, a level five, we can take honey from this. That's gonna make him mad, but it's worth it. There we go, it gives us another. Can we take more? Nope, only one. We literally just need to find one more hive, steal some honey from it, and then all we gotta do is kill the hunters, and we'll be able to unlock the loaded beehive upgrade. And honestly, I'm really happy, because this upgrade has been unbearable. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I hear a bee, I literally hear bees. Where? Oh, I see it right here, I see a bee. Okay, there's a hive around here. It's right here. It's filled with honey. Let's grab it and let's quickly get away and let's drink this honey bottle. And there we go. Now, luckily we already know where the hunter base is. So that part is super easy. The hard part is we don't need normal kills. It specifically says poisoned player kills, meaning we're going to need some sort of like poison potion to have any sort of chance here. And it's got to be throwable too. So let's go to the nether and make some throwable poison potions. Okay. So first things first, we need to find a nether fortress. So that way we can get some blaze rods. There's actually a bastion right next to us, but we don't need to go there. It'd just be a waste of time. So let's go find another fortress. I see another fortress. Oh, let's go with the big one too. Let's go, we found one. Now let's just go take on some blazes. Eight blaze rods is definitely enough. So we'll just go ahead and get out of here so we can start brewing some potions. Okay, so now let's just go to our crafting table and make ourselves three brewing stands. Now let's stack them like that. And now we just need to go get some spider eyes and gunpowder so that way we can make throwable potions of poison. Okay, first things first, let's go find ourselves a spider and a creeper. Okay, we got two spider eyes and a bunch of gunpowder. So now let's just go make some potions. Okay, so first things first, let's fill up all our bottles with water. And now let's put them inside of our brewing stand. Now let's turn two of our blaze rods into blaze powder and add that blaze powder into the brewing stand. And just like that, I thought I was done. I forgot the nether warts. So let's quickly go back to the nether and get those. Okay, let's grab these nether warts. And now let's quickly head back to the base. So if we put the nether warts in the brewing stand, that's gonna give us nine different awkward potions. Now, if we add in a spider eye, and that's gonna give us three potions of poison. And if we add a gunpowder, they're gonna become throwable potions of poison, meaning tomorrow we can finally attack the hunters and kill them with poison potions. Let's go find the hunters and pay them a visit. Okay, their base is literally up there. I can see it. Okay, I need to get three kills while they're poisoned. I got the poison potions ready. Here we go, ready? He's getting close. 
talking about? Oh, dude! He poisoned me. He poisoned me. We got him. Nice. Okay, we got one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to get him with these poison potions. Let's get back over here. Okay, go this way. We don't want two of them on us. We need one. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I see him. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, he Where? damages me. Nice. That's two. He died. He died. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I don't know why a bunch of those didn't count. We need one more. And we're taking a ton of poison damage. Oh, this is not good. We need to go. We need to swim. We need to swim. Okay, there should be one in the water chasing us somewhere. Yeah, here he is. Here he is. Stay near the bottom. Nice. He's poisoned. And there we go. We got all three kills we need. But we're currently stuck in the water. So let's quickly unlock the upgrade. So if we go to our combats and unlock loaded beehive, we now have a beehive in our inventory that we can eat to summon defensive bees. Get him, bees. Oh my god. Wait, what, dude? He, is this his ability? Yes, get him. Okay, well, they deal with the bees. Let's go. We need to get to land. Nice. We made it. We made it. Now let's eat a bunch of these. Ready? Nice. Get him, bees. Get him. Oh, God. Oh, my god. There's so uh, many oh, bees. Ah! Uh, look at them all. Okay, well, they're distracted by the bees. We're getting out of here. Go, 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 go. Well, we have defensive bees. Okay, it's day 30. And I know that took absolutely forever to unlock the bee upgrade, but I mean, we can now summon bees, which is pretty dang cool. But we're still on tier two upgrades and it's day 30. So we really got to speed up. So let's work on our next upgrade, Climbing Claws, which is going to allow us to not only mine any ore we want and double it, but we can also climb walls and we don't take any more fall damage. And luckily this upgrade's super easy. We just need three enchanted golden swords, 20 strings, it's 64 gold ingots. Now, if I look at my chest right now, how much raw gold do we have? We have 34. So let's quickly throw that in the blast furnace. And with that smelting, let's go upstairs and quickly get some more gold. Okay, we got 42 raw gold. So let's just go down into the base and quickly throw in the furnace. And now we just need three enchanted golden swords and 20 string. And luckily, I can get the 20 string simply up here in the abandoned mine shaft. And there we go, we've got 20 string and all our gold's done smelting. So now all we need left is three enchanted golden swords. So let's go over here to the crafting table and let's go quickly make ourselves three golden swords. There we go. And now we just need to enchant these bad boys. So let's quickly find some obsidian. Okay, let's put some water on top of this and let's start mining the obsidian. Okay, we've got all four obsidian. Now to actually make an enchanting table, we just need to get a book and two diamonds. And luckily we already have the diamonds, so tomorrow we'll go get a book. Time to hibernate, and now time to get a book. So the first step in getting a book, we just gotta go kill some cows real quick and get their leather. And now we just need to go find some sugar cane. There we go. And now we have everything we need to make an enchanting table. So let's go to the crafting table by turning the sugar cane into paper, and then surrounding leather with paper to get the book. And now we can go ahead and build the enchanter. So let's put that thing right here and grab some lapis. And now let's enchant our three golden swords. And now we can get climbing claws. Ta-da! This claw basically means I can get rid of my diamond pickaxe because it counts as a netherite one. So let's test it out real quick. If I go up to this iron ore right here and I break it, you're going to notice it drops two iron ore, meaning these claws double everything. And of course, on top of that, they also let me climb up walls. So if there's a big wall like right here, well, I can just climb up it. And if I jump backwards off this cliff, you're going to see I take no fall damage. Ta-da! Anyway, with these claws unlocked, we are super overpowered. And it's going to make us super rich because getting ores is a billion times easier. And now it's time to work on our tier three upgrade, Big Bear, which will give us strength two and speed two and 24 hearts of health. So to unlock Big Bear, we just need 128 logs, 20 emeralds and three diamond helmets. Super easy, but the sun's starting to set. So let's quickly go to the base and see what materials we already have. And we look at the chest. We actually already have 14 emeralds, which means we only need six more. So we just got to break some grass. As for the diamonds, we need 15 total and we have three. So once again, we, we got to break some grass. This forager ability is stupid. I can just break grass for ores. And then finally, we just need 128 logs, which uh, I got it. So we already are done with the logs. So tomorrow we just break some grass and then we become Big Bear. Okay, so we break a bunch of grass and get a ton of different diamonds and emeralds. And there we go, we have all the emeralds and diamonds we need. So let's go ahead and make three diamond helmets. And just like that, we have everything we need to turn into Big Bear already. So let's become Big Bear. Now you're going to see I'm a big brown grizzly bear who has 24 hearts of health, strength two, and speed two. So I am insanely fast now. And with Big Bear unlocked, we are officially done with all the tier two upgrades. And all we have left is to work on tier three, which our first tier three is called Bear Hug. Now, Bear Hug is an unbearably powerful attack. Sorry again. Now, this attack lets me grab grapple one hunter and whichever hunter i grapple will take all the damage that i take so as an example let's say i grappled permore if 
I grapple him, and then I take some damage. So does he. Simple enough, right? Now, unlocking this OP ability shouldn't be too hard. So let's go get some bee kills. Okay, so now we're just gonna summon a bunch of bees to kill a bunch of different mobs. So let's go ahead and summon some bees. And let's punch a sheep. Get him! That's one. Let's punch these sheep. Get him, my bees! Get him! Oh my goodness, there's so many bees. And there we go. We've officially stung 25 entities with our bees. It was perfect timing too, because the sun's starting to set. So let's buzz our way back to the base, and tomorrow we'll take on the hunters. Until day 36, I was looking for the hunters' new base, because it turned out their old base was already abandoned. So I looked for their new one, and I found it fairly quickly, actually. Is that cobblestone? Ooh. Oh, I think I see a base. I just saw something yellow. Oh my god, look at it is. It's a giant beehive, and they have a massive bee farm. Well, let's increase the amount of bees. Bee time. Get him, bees! Are... Oh my god! What is that, oh, dude? Oh. And let's let the bees do their thing. Look at him, I'll just sit in my bees. I'm dead to bees! Now they should go for Jose, and then we can go and give you a whack. Oh! Stuck in that trap. We're in the bear trap, we literally can't move. I'm dead. Okay, we're doing a lot of bleed right now. Okay, gave a bunch of them bleed. He has so many bees, man. I can't hear myself. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Get him, bees! He lit his teammate on fire, nice. We're stuck in the bear trap. Okay, we give him a bunch of bleed. Dang it! Oh, our armor's breaking, our armor's breaking. No, man, I can't get any hits in. Nice, we got two of them. Okay, we have all the kills, we just need some more bleed. Oh my gosh! We've lost our shield. Our goal is just to give bleed right now. Okay, we just need 10 more seconds. Okay, the bee should go after him. Give bleed to this guy. Give bleed to this guy. He bleed. Come on, one more. Yes, we got it. We got it. Okay, let's quickly unlock the upgrade. And boom, we have bear hug. We got to try this out, though. Oh, he's picking me up, dude. He's dragging oh, me. Right. Okay, I used bear hug on him. So now any damage I take, he should take. And just like that, they killed their own teammate on accident. Oh my god! Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry, you used to use a shield. Let's do it again. Oh god, no, 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 no. Let me go, let me go, man. <laughs> so we got him in a bear hug. He's taking constant damage. Oh, he's free. Okay, we gotta kill him out. Let's take him out. Let's get out of here. Dang it! Let the bees get him. Go, 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 go. Let's get out of here. We did it. We've unlocked the new ability, Bear Hug, which when we used him in battle was amazing. I would grab the enemy players and drag them around anywhere I went. But we're not done yet because now we have to unlock Bear Cave, which is going to let me summon bear caves wherever I want. All I need is 64 amethyst shards, one enchanted netherite pickaxe, and three enchanting tables. And luckily with our OP mining ability, none of that is hard. So let's start by getting the amethyst shards because that's definitely the easiest part. So let's get it with our climbing claws. So inside this giant geode, we found six amethyst shards, but we need a lot more than that. So let's keep looking. Ooh, okay, let's grab all this. This is gonna give us a lot. This is gonna give us a lot. Oh, please give us a ton of shards. So now we just need a netherite pickaxe so that we can enchant it. So let's head to the nether. Okay, so let's get back in the base and let's make our way into the nether portal. So hopefully we can easily get some netherite. So let's dig down into the earth and let's go find some ancient debris. Oh, wait, we found one. That was fast. We literally didn't even go like 20 blocks. Okay, let's go ahead and let's mine this. And just like that, you're going to notice, because we mined it with our climbing claws, we got two netherite scraps. So we just need to find one more ancient debris and we're done. <gasps> no way, there's another one. There's another one right above it. Oh, what are the odds? Let's go. I dug around just to make sure and I found another. Oh my god, another! Okay, what are the odds of that? Someone let me know in the comments below if you know. And if that didn't hurt your subscription, I don't know what will. So hit that subscribe button. Anyway, getting the ancient debris was super easy. So let's just go to sleep. I don't fit in my bedroom anymore. Okay, let's move our bed right there in the middle of the floor. There we go. And now let's hibernate. Okay, day 38. So let's go ahead and let's make that netherite pickaxe. So let's go ahead and let's start by combining our netherite scraps with some gold. And that's gonna give us a netherite ingot, which if we make a basic smithing table, we can throw our pickaxe and netherite ingot in there, and now we have a netherite pickaxe. But we're not quite done. It has to be enchanted to get the bear cave upgrade. So let's go over here to our enchanting table and give it efficiency one. And just like that, we have the enchanted netherite pickaxe. Okay, so now it's time to get the last item, which is three enchanting tables. So let's start by doing the easy thing, which is getting the obsidian. Okay, we've got all the obsidian that we need. So now that we got the obsidian, we just need six diamonds and three books. So let's quickly go to our crafting table and let's make all the books we need because we still have everything we need from last time we made an enchanting table. And now the only thing we need left is a bunch of diamonds. So let's go mow some lawn. 
there we go. We got all the diamonds we need. So let's combine it all together. And three books, three enchanting tables, which is everything that we need to unlock Bear Cave, our brand new ability. So let's go ahead and let's exit our base and let's test Bear Cave out. So let's work. So let's start in this clearing and let's go ahead and let's use Bear Cave to quickly summon a massive underground bear cave that has all the essentials I could need. A nether portal, brewing stands, furnaces, crafting tables, a bed, tons of storage. You name it, I can spawn it. But obviously this isn't a very hidden one. So we're just gonna leave this here as a decoy base and just let them destroy this one. But with the bear cave officially unlocked, we will never have to build bases again because now we can just simply spawn them. We only have six more upgrades to go. So next let's work on Roar, which is an ability which sends enemies flying back and blinds them, meaning I can get some easy kills. But to unlock it is not so easy. I need to get seven kills with critical hits and I have to punch a warden 10 times. I'm not gonna lie, none of these are easy. This is gonna be a tough one, especially blowing up creepers with skeletons. Cause if I look really closely, it specifically says have a single skeleton kill five creepers with TNT explosions. There's literally only one way to do that. Basically you have to have a skeleton shoot an arrow through lava, activate TNT and then blow up a bunch of creepers. That is going to be hard. So instead let's go find a warden. Time to find an ancient city. It would take until day 44 just to find an ancient city. Oh, I found an ancient city. This one is huge. Oh my God, look how wide open this is. Oh, okay, we're in an ancient city. Now we just gotta summon a warden and punch it 10 times. Okay, so let's go summon a warden real quick. Okay, I see some shriekers over here. These will help. There we go. Thank you. Okay, nothing good. Oh, some protection pants. Three god apples. Let's go. This chest was great, but still no warden. So let's just make some more noise. That should summon a warden. That should summon a warden. Oh, here he comes. Okay, the warden is literally just up ahead. Be quick, ready? One, two, three, four, five, one. Eat a god apple, eat a god apple. Okay, we ate one. Okay, eat another one. One, two. Okay, we got all the hits. Now we gotta escape, we gotta escape. Let's keep going deeper in. Let's climb up here, come on, into this cave. He's about to blast us. Oh, he's about to blast us. Oh my God, we barely got out of there. It was so dark, I barely could see a thing, but we punched the warden 10 times and we escaped. Now let's just get out of here. Okay, we're home. We've punched the warden 10 times. So now let's just go ahead and blow up some creepers with some skeletons. This is gonna be hard. So first things first, let's grab up all our gunpowder. And now let's go to our crafting table and combine that gunpowder with our sand. And that's gonna give us three TNT, which should be all we need for this. So now let's grab a bunch of cobblestone and let's go upstairs and build this creeper skeleton TNT trap thing. I, I don't know what to even call this. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is actually dig a giant hole. So let's go and let's dig a giant hole right here. Okay, we've got our hole. It's 3D. And now we just gotta trap some creepers in here, but we're gonna do that tonight when they actually spawn. So now we're gonna actually build where the skeleton's gonna go. Okay, cool. This cobblestone right thing here, this is gonna be where we trap a skeleton. And the goal is gonna be to get that skeleton to shoot through a lava pool I'll put right in front of it into a block of TNT up here and then onto the creepers down in the hole. This is obviously way easier said than done. So let's quickly head downstairs and go grab some lava. Okay, so now we just gotta put some lava in place. So let's go ahead and let's put a lava right there. And let's also break this. So it should just flow into that hole. And now we need to do the same thing in a couple other places, probably right here as well. So we wanna break this one and break this one. So let's go go ahead and let's put some cobblestone around there and then some cobblestone around there and let's put these lava buckets in place now we just have to get a skeleton to get to the back of this and then that skeleton will have to shoot their arrows through the lava why would i just saw a nameplate i just saw a nameplate through the lava <gasps> they're at the tree right next to me oh my god just don't move he went down to the bear hole he went in the bear hole oh he sees me yeah he sees me he's right he's, here he's in there oh no, no he's on loop he's on loop oh god don't let him hit me in the lava. Oh, we're in the hole. Oh God, we need to get out. Ready? I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm fire. dead. There we go, we're out. Let's go into the bear cave. Go into the bear cave. Make it look like this is our base. Okay, they're coming down, they're coming down, they're coming down. Let's get this one in a bear hug. Oh, he's looking at my stuff. Don't want him to do that. Come here. We got in here, bear. Get close. Get close. Yes, we got him in a bear hug. He picked me up. Oh, Seth, no. me. Oh, oh my God. God. Keep him in the bear hug. Yep, attack me all you want. It's gonna hurt him. He's just gonna keep killing their guy. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna oh. He's oh. He's dying. He's gotta be dying. Dude, you're killing me. Oh, no, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. I gotta kill him. What do you mean? No, I'm not, dude. He's low. He's low. What? Oh, my goodness. They almost just killed me. I almost took a way too big of a risk. Oh, my goodness. That almost killed me. That was almost really dumb. Okay, well, we got all three of them. I don't think they expected to see me because I definitely did not expect to see them. Either way, our trap is pretty much complete. Let's just go ahead and let's remove this wood. And now let's go ahead and let's build over here and place a block of TNT right there. And now we'll break all the blocks below it. Now all we gotta do is trap a bunch of creepers and skeletons and then we should be able to finish up this quest. Okay, there's a skeleton right over here. Let's see if we can get this skeleton trapped inside our trap. Okay, so first things first, let's kill this. Let's go up here. 
Should we make him come around? He fell in. He fell in. Yes, he's in. He's in. He's in. He's in. We got him. Okay, we have our skeleton trapped. Now he should shoot flaming arrows. Yes, I'm on fire. It works. He shoots flaming arrows. Let's go get some creepers. Oh, there's one right here. Okay, come here, creeper. I should probably destroy that TNT for now, huh? In fact, I'm gonna do that exact thing. I'm gonna destroy that. We're almost there. Yes, he's in. Go, go, go. Come here, creepers. Come on, we got one. Come here. Yes. Okay, we got three in the hole. We just need two more. Come here. Get over here. Get close and boom. Yes, that's four. We just need one more creeper. And there they are. We just need one of them. Come here. Come on. Whoop. We got five in. I don't need you. Okay, we've got all five creepers in the hole. So now let's just go put down the TNT. So we want to go here and then here. Place the TNT right there and then stand right here. I might have to make this whole thing one lower. Okay, hit me. Hit this TNT. Blow them all up. That's me. Yes. Get them. Get them. Yes! Oh my goodness, we did it. Look at all the music discs. We have blown up all five creepers with a skeleton, which means now all we have to do is get seven players with a crit, but it's late at night. So let's go hibernate. Okay, it's day 46. So let's make our way to the hunter base because all we need to do is get seven critical hit kills, which honestly shouldn't be that bad because right now our bear is super strong. Okay, the base is literally just at the top of this hill. Me and the bee army are going to strike and get all these critical hit kills. Here it is. Get them, bees! Okay, well, the bees get that one. Let's get some crits. Nice, that's one crit kill. There we go, that's two. Oh my god, no, too many bees. Nice, that's three. Nice, that's four. Get out of here, bear. No bears allowed. Nice, that's five. That's six. We just need one more. Nice, that's all of them. Let's unlock the upgrade. Okay, we've unlocked Roar. Oh, dude, he got an upgrade. He got an upgrade. Let's try it out on this guy. I heard it. Oh, what is this? I'm oh, blind. My. There we go, we roared him down the hill. Roared him back. And now let's go destroy their base. Okay, let's go over here to these guys. And let's spawn our bear cave right here on their base. And let's put another one right here. We have totally destroyed their base. It has been eaten alive by mine. Wait, did he just make his base in our base? Yeah, I think so. Look, they're not even worried about me anymore. I can just... Oh, no, yes, they are. Yes, they are. I saw that arrow. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. We're definitely far enough ahead where we can get away now. Okay, we're home. And before I go into the next part, let's put one of our new music discs in our jukebox. Okay, so we obviously just unlocked our new Roar ability, which sends mobs flying away and gives them blindness. So with Roar officially unlocked, it's time to work on our next upgrade called Bear Grills. Uh, but first, we need some armor because ours is literally gone except for the pants. So let's quickly break a bunch of diamonds. Okay, we have all the diamonds we're gonna need. So let's throw them together. Now that we've enchanted diamond armor, let's start working on bear grills, which is basically just a jar full of honey that I can throw at people. So to actually unlock bear grills, I need 128 sugar cane, 64 blaze rods, and 64 glass bottles. So let's go to the nether and go kill some blazes. Okay, we're done killing all the blazes, so let's get out of here. Okay, so now we just need to get some sugar cane and some glass bottles. So let's start with the easiest part, which is getting sugar cane. Okay, that's all the sugar cane we need. So now all we need is just some glass bottles, which we can get just by digging a bunch of sand. Okay, now let's throw all of our sand inside of our furnaces. And now we wait. Okay, that should be enough glass. And now we just need to go over here to the crafting table and turn that glass into glass bottle. And now we can unlock bear grills. Let's try it. Hey, piggy. So I basically have a jar of honey that kills things. So it's nighttime, let's quickly go back down to the base. Okay, now that we've unlocked the bear grills upgrade, it's time to become a bear boss. However, unlocking this bear is not gonna be easy because I need five enchanted golden apples, three totems of undying, and one heart of the sea. So let's head back to the ancient city and see if we can find ourselves some more god apples. Okay, we're back at the ancient city, but this time we actually have to be quiet because I don't want to fight a warden. All I want to do is go from chest to chest to chest. Ooh, we got one. And we have more pants. Dang it, no god apple. Oh, we get a second one. Oh, nice. We got a third one. Oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, warden. We are getting away from that warden. Okay, let's check these chests. Nothing. Please have it. Please have it. Please have it. No, dang it. Okay, so that was the last chest in here I hadn't checked. And we only have four god apples to show for it. I need five. So I guess we got to go look for another ancient city. That's going to take a while. And so I had to go searching for another ancient city, which is crazy because the first one was already over 1,000 blocks away from my base. Oh, here we go. Finally, we found the second ancient city we need. And we just need one god apple, which honestly, that should be really easy. Well, not, maybe not that easy. There we go, our last enchanted god apple. And with that, we have all the god apples we need. So now to complete the bear boss, we just need to get three totems of undying and a heart of the sea, which of course are very difficult all in themselves. So let's just go back to the base and we'll make a plan there. Okay, so getting totem of undying's in heart of the sea. This is gonna be kind of tricky. Now the heart of the sea is just kind of pure luck. I just have to go from shipwreck to shipwreck until I get buried treasure. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll find a heart of the sea eventually. But getting three totems is a different story. 
story because it basically means we're going to a woodland mansion to guarantee ourselves three totems so here's the woodland mansion checklist you're gonna need two stacks of paper two stacks of glass panes eight or so emeralds th th that's kind of up in the air two compasses then we just need this thing the cartography table and we can get it so let's start with the easiest part first the sugar cane Ooh, a temple back to sugar cane and there we go, we have two stacks of sugar cane. Now we just need to get a bunch of sand. There we go, that's all the sand we need. And now it's nighttime, so let's go home. Okay, we're home. No, no! He's inside, he's inside. Oh, oh! Run, 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 run! run, run. run. Oh, no! Okay, the hunters are here. I got my new jars, let's use our jars. Oh, they're hitting me in the lava a lot. Oh, they have shotguns! Oh, he's dead! He shot his own teammate to death! Okay, well, uh, did anything? Okay, we got some stuff. Well, I guess this is RIP to this base. Well, luckily, we have an ability that just spawns bases now. So, so building a new base shouldn't be too hard. I made a new bear cave, and this time, it literally only took one day to get this base ready. As I really only had to disguise it, so it wasn't a giant hole in the ground. Welcome to the brand new bear base. Which obviously is now covered by a secret entrance, so nobody's gonna get in. And then I spent a day just doing some basic touch-ups around here. And now, we need to head to a woodland mansion so we can become a bear boss. So, let's quickly go to a village. Let's make a cartographer. Now we just gotta trade this guy a bunch of different stuff. So first we'll trade him our paper. Then we're gonna trade him our glass panes. And finally we trade him for his woodland explorer map. And now we can get to a woodland mansion. Okay, so the map is currently telling us to basically just go west. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I followed the map for a couple days until we reached the woodland mansion. Oh, I see it. It's literally right in front of us. Now, technically we only need two totems because I already have one that I got earlier in an accidental raid. So let's go inside and get at least two more. Preferably three more so I don't have to throw them all away. Go in and we gotta get him. We got him, he's dead. Okay, that's one totem fun dying. I think there's one around this corner. There is. Nice, we got two. I thought I heard another. Oh, I did hear another one. I thought so. Okay, now let's check out the rest of this place and just see how many totems we can get. Oh, there is another one. And another one. Now let's just check out the first floor, which seems to be mostly mobs. So uh, we're pretty much good to get out of here as we've got five totems of undying now. No, we have six totems of undying now. Yeah, we're good. We're out of here. Now with the totems undying, we legit just need one more item and we can finish this bear upgrade. We just need a heart of the sea, which requires us to go to the ocean, find some sunken ships and well, find some buried treasure. And once we do that, we can become the bear boss. Okay, I see shipwreck. Please have buried treasure. It spawns behind the door in this one. There it is, we got it. Now we just gotta find it. If we look, we're in the upper left-hand corner, meaning we need to head southwest. We need to go that way. Oh, we're getting close, finally, we're getting close. It should be right here. I just have to line up with the center of this thing and dig straight down, which is like right about here. Let's go. There it is, boo y'all, found it. And we got a heart of the sea, just like that. At the cost of three of our totems, our heart of the sea, and our five god apples, we go from being a basic big brown bear to the bear boss. With 32 hearts of HP, strength jump, and speed three. And you're gonna notice my energy Energy bar has now gone up to 160 and I still got three totems to show for it. We only have three more upgrades to go. The combat upgrade charge, the utility upgrade Ursa Minor, and we have the final bear evolution, the Ultra Instinct Ursa Major. Now all of these things seem to require stuff from the end, so that's where we gotta go next. Meaning let's go to our nether portal and let's go get ourselves some blaze rods and ender pearls. Okay, we've got all eight blaze rods that we need. So now we just need to find a bastion and get ourselves some ender pearls. Okay, we're at a bastion. So now let's just go inside and steal a bunch of gold. Okay, that should definitely be enough gold blocks. Now let's go trap some piglets. Okay, now that they're all trapped, let's give all these guys a bunch of gold. And now from here, we just let them do some trading. Okay, they're done trading. And let's see just how many ender pearls we got. In total, 14. That should still be enough, but it's definitely gonna be close. Anyway, let's make our way back home because now we've gotta take on the ender dragon. Okay, so let's start by combining the blaze rods with the ender pearls to give us a bunch of eyes of ender. And now let's simply go outside and throw one. Okay, now that we're outside the base, let's throw the first eye of ender. Oh, wow, I was actually looking the right way. Okay, let's grab it, and let's go this way. Okay, let's throw another eye and make sure it's on the land. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's somewhere back in the ocean. Go a little farther. Let's throw another. No, we're, it's right here. It's literally right below us. Okay, let's dive, and I guess let's just start digging. Oh, I found it. Oh, my God, I just bumped into it. It was right here. Okay, we just got to find the portal now. Oh, we found it. We found it. We found it. We found it. And in we go. Time to take on the dragon. Okay, let's jump over here. Now, taking on the dragon should be fairly easy, because I can climb his towers just like this. <laughs> And that was easy. Now, I probably should have brought a bow or something, but bears don't use bows. So let's take him out with that one. Oh my god, there's a hunter over there. Look at that little diamond armor guy. Oh, there's another one over there. While he's building, this is my chance to get the last one. And we got it. Okay, cool. We've gotten rid of all of the dragon things. Okay, we need to wait for the dragon to perch before we go down and attack it, because we don't have any bow or anything. There it is. There's the perch. Oh, he's on my tail. He's on my tail. We're going to trick him here. Watch this. Get back here, bear. He's running. Where's he running to? Nice. We got him. He's done. He's gone! Luke, I'm nervous about this. No! I think I'm in the void. See you later, dude!
it. Okay, we need to wait for it to perch again. Oh, we got him. Nice, we got him. There's another one coming in. We need to get him all away. We need to get him away. Oh, I teleported him. Lol. Dude, he knocked me into the credits. No. One more to go. Okay, let's grab this torch. Nice, we got it. Now we can get rid of him. I have an idea. Ready? Bear hug. And now let's put him in the portal. And then he's gone. Just like that, we got rid of him. What? He came back. Oh, you're going in too. You're going in too. Yeah, you're done. Bye. Oh, please no, please no. Woo. Oh, credits. Okay, let's be quick before another one comes back. Let's quickly break this. Break that. Come on, get drop. Nope. What? Okay. Okay, now that we took care of that, we just need to go to the outer end to get the dragon head, the elytra, and then rods. So let's take this ender pearl over to that thing and let's teleport to the outer end. And we're in the outer end. But uh, I don't see any end city, so let's get looking. Now in the outer end, I wandered around for a while, but it would take until day 69 to actually find an elytra ship. Oh, we see an end city. I don't see a ship though. Wait, no, that's the ship entrance. That's a ship entrance right there, isn't it? We can finally get the dragon head and elytra. That took way too long to find. Okay, let's jump to the ship. Now let's go down to the bottom, grab my rewards, and the elytra. Now let's go to the front of the ship and let's grab the dragon head as well. Okay, let's break the dragon head and we officially have everything we need from the end. We got the end rod. The elytra and the dragon head meaning we can finally go home. We only have two upgrades to go What's that you're thinking shouldn't there be three? Okay, technically you're right But we can unlock the last upgrade on the utility tree, which is called ursa minor now spoiler alert I already know what this one does as you can see I can now fly as a bear But that's not all because if we quickly exit the base I'll show you what this ability really does because yeah flying is cool and all what if I could tell you I could throw shooting stars because for those that don't know ursa means bear there's a bear constellation called Ursa Minor and Ursa Major. And so I get an ability to throw stars. Look at this. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at this. Look, there it is. <laughs> Boom. How cool is that? I can now throw shooting stars. You know, I should probably be excited about the fact that I can fly too because uh, this is pretty OP. Okay, but for real, we have two upgrades to go. We have the combat upgrade charge and we have the ultra instinct Ursa Major, which still requires an enchanted netherite hoe and a nether star. But let's start with the combat upgrade first because I didn't realize, but we've done nothing on this one yet. All we need to do is shoot a gas fireball back at it, do a max charge respawn anchor, whatever that is. I actually have no idea. And then we just need to kill 10 players, which that I can do. So let's start with the easiest bit, which is simply reflecting a gas shot back at it. And now that we can fly, that's super easy. So let's go in the nether portal and now let's go find ourselves a gas. Yay! Just like that, it's done. I told you that would be easy. Now while we're here, let's do the respawn anchor because that's something you can only do in the nether anyway. So first, let's quickly fly back to the base and let's craft ourselves a respawn anchor. Now to craft a respawn anchor, we need six crying obsidian and three glowstone. So let's go in here and grab all our crying obsidian. Now let's grab a crafting table to bring with us and now let's get some glowstone. Okay, now let's turn this glowstone dust into glowstone. And now let's craft a respawn anchor. So all we have to do is put six crying obsidian like so. Now we have a respawn anchor. And now we have to fully charge it. I'm guessing they mean I have to activate it. Which means I gotta put some glowstone in it. Specifically... Oh, the hunters. They just came through that nether portal. They're in the fortress. This is a ba oh, yo, there's a portal right across. Oh, he sees my portal. They're going for my base. Okay, I gave him bite. We're flying away. Oh, there's one above me. Let's roar him. There we go. What the heck was that? Why is he? Oh, oh what's happening? Into the lava with you. We need to trap that nether portal. Okay, here we go. Put him in the lava. Let's quickly go to our crafting table and let's make some buckets. There we go. We have a bunch. Now let's fill them all up with lava. And now let's put some lava on top of their nether portal. Oh, he's he's putting lava on our, on our portal. That should prevent them from using that nether portal again. Now we just have to kill them. Ready? Okay, that's one. Now let's get the other one. Okay, there we go. And now they should hit him in. He's in. He's in. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he came through still. I'll give you credit for swimming through all that lava. We got to make this more brutal then. Fill all these with lava again. Okay, oh, that should definitely keep them out of here for a while. Now, before they get back up here, let's quickly use our glowstone and put it inside the respawn anchor. And now if I right click it, we've officially set up a respawn anchor in the nether. And all we have to do now is get 10 player kills. Now, we have to actually kill them. I don't think throwing them in the lava counts. Otherwise, we'd have more. That's two. Okay, we got it. We got no, the lava got it. Okay, he's dead. And just like that, we can get out of here. Though I am a little nervous. They're gonna get to my base through my portal now. Okay, we only got two player kills because killing them in the lava is pretty difficult. So let's try and kill them in the overworld. But before we do that, we still need a nether star and an enchanted netherite hoe to unlock the ultra instinct or some miners. But nah, I wanna go get some player kills first. And since we can fly, we can find their base much faster. It took till day 75, but I was finally able to find the hunter's new base. And while I could have gone through their nether portal, I guarantee there would have been a trap on the other side. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's gotta be their base. Oh, Oh, I think I found it in a village. Ready? Watch this. He's not going to see it coming. Oh, it went straight through the base to the bottom. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, my goodness. Looks like there's spawns inside this house. So let's get them away from their house because I don't want to blow up their beds. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there's one below me. Ready? Watch this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh no. This is broken. Look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dude. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> oh my god, I got them all! Oh 
my god. Did we all just blow up at the same time? And just like that, we have all 10 kills we need. So now let's nuke their house. Where's the last guy? Oh, I see him right here. He's done. He's done. Oh! <laughs> well, anyway, their base is destroyed, and I finished yet another upgrade, meaning we can unlock our next combat upgrade, Charge. And this upgrade's amazing. On top of the Ursa Miner, which lets me destroy their base with stars, I can now break through anything as a bear. Look at this. <laughs> And in a matter of seconds, I just tunneled hundreds of blocks. This bear is broken. Okay, there's only one more upgrade to go. And that is the Ultra Instinct Ursa Major, which simply requires an enchanted netherite hoe and a nether star. And so we just need to go kill some wither skeletons in the nether, and then we'll be all set. Okay, so let's go through the nether portal, and let's go kill some wither skeletons. <laughs> Whoa! Hunter's here. Wait, he just went back through. No, they're going into my base. Oh, they're blocking me off. I can climb it. No, I'm stuck. No, we're through. We're through. Do we sit TT? Oh, God. Oh, there's dogs now. No, not my base. Ah! Quick down here. We have to destroy it. Ready? And go. We're out of the base. Okay, we have room to move now. Okay, one of them's coming here. Ready? He doesn't realize what he's about to do. Okay, we killed one. Two. Oh, no. And there's one more in here. Fly after him. Go, 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 go. There we go. He's gone. No! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, he's back. Teleport him. Okay, we forced him through. We forced him through. He literally sent me back to the nether. I'm going back, right? Okay, no, pretty much everything's gone at the base. Dang it, we're gonna have to move again. All because they found my nether portal. He's digging out the back. I see. Okay, he doesn't know where I went. Little does he know I'm behind him. Ah! Oh my god! Jump scared! I'm actually gonna die. I can't see anything. I'm, I'm dead. And just like that, he's gone. And so is our base. So I guess we got to build a new one, but it should be pretty easy. We don't need a crazy base anymore because we only have one more upgrade to go. Even though we lost the cave base, I now have the ability to make a cave base in the sky, which is exactly what I did until day 81. And we're officially done with the brand new bear base. I just spawned the bear cave in the sky because well, only I can fly here. So our bear cave is now a bear cave in the sky. And then you enter into our brand new base, which has our enchanting tables, chests, and of course our smelting station. So with the base back in order, we can officially get the last upgrade. Now we already have the dragon egg that we need to get the last bear upgrade. So let's head to the nether and let's go get some netherite. That way we can make an enchanted netherite hoe and quickly finish that upgrade. Okay, there we go. We found one. Now let's go, let's dig it up. And that should give us two netherite scraps. Now we just need two more. Oh, let's go. We got two now. And now that that's done, all we need to do is get a nether star, which means we just need to go ahead and get three heads from wither skeletons. So let's quickly head to a nether fortress. Okay, now let's just start killing wither skeletons. Okay, we officially have all three wither skulls that we need. So let's get out of here and let's go kill the wither. Okay, so now we just gotta fight and kill the wither, which we can do way down here. So let's simply build the soul sand like this and put all three skulls on top. And now let's take this guy down. <laughs> And we got it, the nether star. And now we just need to go back home, make the enchanted netherite hoe, and then we'll finish the last upgrade. Okay, so let's start by going over to our crafting station and combine our four scraps with four pieces of gold. Now, I don't have any diamonds to make a diamond hoe, so let's quickly go down here and start breaking grass till we get some. There's one. And that's two. So now let's simply get some sticks, make ourselves a diamond hoe, and then let's combine four wooden planks with two iron ingots to make ourselves another smithing's table. And just like that, we can make ourselves a netherite hoe. And now we just gotta enchant it. So let's throw some lapis in and the hoe in, and let's just give it unbreaking. And just like that, we can become the ultra instinct Ursa Major. Look how big I am. I'm absolutely huge. But with that final upgrade unlocked, all we have to do is survive until day 100. And since I have a sky base, all I really have to do is float up here and sit here afk until i see trouble it should be pretty easy i thought the hunters would take a while to find the final base but it literally only took them three days they attacked on day 88 that's like way earlier than i was expecting them oh god there's hunters below me hold on coming back oh god my hearts are at i'm at five hearts hold on okay we're back uh apparently the hunters are here i was not expecting them that soon okay let's get down there and roar them off that should kill him what? Um, I'm alive. I'm okay. Okay, let's see if we can get them with one of the jars of honey. Hello. Oh, hey there, bear. <laughs> Goodbye. No, dude, what? Oh, we got him with fall damage. Nice. Oh, they're fighting me down here. That's not a good place to fight. I'll just do this. <laughs> Well, I guess that's that's just how that... Okay, well... Come on, you guys gotta do better than that. Come back when you have a better plan. After only a few days of waiting, the hunters came back through my nether portal. And this time, they meant serious business. Okay, let's bring the oak logs back to the chest. And now we're going on logs again. Oh, hold on! No! Oh, okay, we protected the chest. We got the chest, we got the chest. That was fast again. How do they keep getting here? Wait, how'd they get in the base? Oh, they flew up. I didn't even see them come in. Okay, one just died. Nice. They're coming through my nether portal. They're not coming from where I thought. They're coming from the nether portal. They're on the outside of the base. Look, one's right here. 
<laughs> no. I was gonna say, you're gonna splat if you just dive bomb me. I can't get him with the star ability. Oh my god, this is a pain to deal with. I literally, none of my abilities work on them while they fly. Okay, we can get him here. Oh, ow. That did so much damage. We're genuinely in trouble because I can't just like launch them off like this. <laughs> Like, they could just fly. Look. Okay, one of my bees killed them. They're coming from the nether, so I gotta stop their respawn somehow. Let's get to the nether. Okay, we're in. Yep. See, look. I knew it. They're coming from here. I knew it. Oh, he's throwing potions so I can't go through. Okay, I can get around this. Okay, that's one dead. Ow! Is this one of them? Yeah, here's a respawn anchor. I can get rid of it. Ready? Okay, one respawn anchor gone. There's another one down this way for sure. There we go. Here's a bunch. Oh! I just took out a ton of respawn. I'm calling in some more wolves, dude. There's no way he survives the onslaught of wolves. Oh, they're almost killing me. No. There's probably more. Here's another tunnel here. They've got to be coming from somewhere around here. Let's spawn more bees. Get them, bees. Distract them so they don't hit me. Oh, we're low. No, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Our totem pup. We need to go. Oh, we're on two hearts. Oh, we're on one heart. I don't even know where they're coming from. Where are they coming from? Dude, I have potions of harming. I'm going to throw those on him. Oh, they got me with a potion. What is that doing? No. No. Let's go. Wait. I did it. I killed him. Oh my god, we lost. No shot. I respawned at the anchor, but we just lost. Wait, you guys killed me. Wait, what? That's right. You're hunter Take that Dewey. bear. What? It's the hunter instinct. The bear loses? This bear was broken. Our nether strat was too hot to handle, buddy. I guess that means I lose. Hunters win. Thanks for watching.